Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Transylvanian Hound, a cheerful, perceptive, and completely loyal breed. As always, we've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. The Breed's History the Transylvanian Hound's history could go back as far as the 9th century. The breed has existed for many centuries. Evidence suggests that the Transylvanian Hound had some popularity among medieval European aristocrats, namely as a hunting companion. Although many think that the Transylvanian Hound was derived from the Hungarian Major Agar, this is difficult to confirm. Often called the Hungarian Hound, this breed is popular in that country and Romania. Still, it is mostly unknown outside of those two countries. There were once two varieties of the breed, a long-legged and a short-legged variety. The long-legged Transylvanian Hound was initially employed for hunting buffaloes and, subsequently, bears, wild boars, and lynxes. At the same time, the short-legged Hound was used for hunting small animals like foxes or hares in overgrown terrain and chamois in mountainous places. This dog has thrived over the years in the Hungarian countryside, adapting to the varied terrain and severe climate to become a sought-after hunter hunting companion. The Transylvanian Hound was on the verge of extinction around the turn of the 20th century. Breeding efforts were renewed with vigor in 1968, and now there are many long-legged dogs in Hungary and adjacent Romania, whereas the short-legged species has since vanished. The Transylvanian Hound has been approved for the AKC's Foundation Stock Service. He has been recognized by the UKC as a part of their scent hound group since 2006. Appearance the Transylvanian Hound is a muscular, medium-sized dog. The double coat of a Transylvanian Hound lies close to the animal's skin and its fur is coarse and erect. An authorized coat color combination is black, white, and tan. The breed's primary color should be black and have tan markings on the features of its face and limbs. There is a strict limit on the quantity of white that may appear on a dog. Their tail is short and narrow and may be curled if desired. The average size of a dog from this breed is between 25 and 35 pounds and a height of between 55 and 65 centimeters. The dog's black muscle and wide nostrils for scenting give it an alert, confident air, and its dark brown, almond-shaped eyes complement this appearance. Their curled ear tips droop on their short, close-set ears. Each dome-shaped head and rectangular nose is the same length. They have lean, well-developed legs that are long and straight. His medium height and build make him athletic, slim, powerful, and exaggerated and his movements are balanced yet elegant. Temperament the Transylvanian Hound has a pleasant demeanor and a strong sense of territory, making him an effective guard dog and watchdog. They have exceptional endurance and can hunt alone for lengthy periods without returning to their handler. They are fearless in the face of danger and will not back down from a challenge even while hunting large or dangerous animals. They are happy to hunt in groups and get along okay with most other canine companions. They are always vigilant and make their family aware of a new arrival by making making loud and persistent barks. They are kind and entertaining, making them a great companion for kids of all ages. The breed develops deep, lifelong ties with its immediate family and is often a pleasant presence. Because of their cheerful demeanor, they are often chosen as party guests by groups of friends and families. Socialization the Transylvanian Hound may be an excellent companion animal if its owner takes the time to learn about, socialize, and train the breed. It is crucial to get him out and about and keep his mind active as much as possible to prevent him from adopting destructive habits and displaying disruptive conduct. The breed is excellent for households with teenagers, but they might be too large and active to spend much time with younger children. Bear in mind, however, that dogs and small children should never be left alone together without supervision to avoid avoid any potential for biting or ear or tail tugging on either side. The breed is tolerant of other pets so long as they are introduced to them gradually. If the Transylvanian Hound has room to roam and establish its territory, it usually gets along well with other dogs. Although he is devoted to his family, he also enjoys his own company and needs time to explore the world. Grooming 
The Transylvanian Hound's short double coat requires minimal grooming but can benefit from weekly brushing to distribute the dog's natural oils. The Transylvanian Hound has a double coat, although he only sheds lightly twice a year. Remove the dead hair by brushing him once a week with a natural bristle brush or a soft, slicker brush. To speed up the shedding process, you should give him a gentle shampoo wash when he begins to shed. However, it is not recommended to bathe them because doing so can dull their fur's natural natural shine and reduce its ability to act as a weather barrier. When a dog has an unpleasant odor, you may apply dry shampoo on him and then wipe him off with a damp towel. His coat will shine and he'll have a more excellent scent. Since he has droopy ears, you should examine them for debris and wetness once a week and clean them if necessary. Wax and debris buildup in the ears can lead to infection, so checking on them regularly is essential. To prevent overgrowth, splitting, and cracking, the strong, fast-growing nails should be trimmed regularly and kept short with a nail clipper or a grinder. If your teeth are dirty, clean them. Grooming sessions are meant to be fun-filled and introduced when your dog is still a puppy. Early grooming introduction helps your dog feel more comfortable with routines such as this one and others such as vet visits. Exercise the Transylvanian Hound is a highly active dog with high intelligence, thus its need for regular exercise should not be underestimated. Dog sports like agility, obedience, and rally training provide another avenue for physical activity with your pet. This dog loves the outdoors and never says no to a stroll, so do well to take him out for a walk or run for at least an hour every day. Remember that the drive to hunt may be stronger than his loyalty to his owner. Because of this, off-leash play should only take take place in confined spaces and leash-free walks should be avoided. Although it is not always practicable, providing the Transylvanian Hound with the chance to hunt is a terrific method to help it achieve its exercise demands. Scent work and other similar hobbies are fantastic options. Although they thrive in spacious homes, they can also make do with apartments. Trainability Training the Transylvanian Hound properly is crucial since he is mainly a hunting dog and cannot control his primitive impulses. They learn best in a standard setting and trainers should be prepared for the challenges their dog's independence might bring. Trying to rehabilitate his natural hunting instincts via training would be futile. Both patience and persistence are needed. Even if he disagrees, the Transylvanian Hound is smart enough to know what his owners want from him. Long stretches of continuity and clarity in the classroom are optional. It is advised to refrain from using rigorous training techniques. As with most said dogs, the Transylvanian Hound may make a terrific family friend when adequately trained. How well a Transylvanian Hound gets along with children and other animals still depends on constant training. Diet and Nutrition like other breeds, the Transylvanian Hound thrives on veterinary-approved, high-quality dog food, whether purchased commercially or homemade. Find out what kinds of human foods can be fed to your dog and what kinds can't. Remember that a dog's diet, whatever it may be, ought to be age-appropriate. Keeping an eye on your dog's calorie intake and weight is essential since they are predisposed to becoming overweight. Treats have their place in training, but too many may lead to weight gain and health problems. If you're warned, about your dog's nutrition or weight, it's best to see a doctor. There should always be access to pure water. Health the vast majority of Transylvanian hounds are generally healthy. Prospective owners may get the information they need to understand particular health risks within the breed by working with a competent breeder. Individual breed members may exhibit the following two orthopedic conditions, hip dysplasia and elbow dysplasia. While there is no written data on the Transylvanian hound's health and anecdotal accounts are scarce, it is primarily recognized that this breed will live to be approximately 10 to 12 years old and typically in excellent condition. Notably, many dogs with this illness may not exhibit evident symptoms. They will continue to pass on their bad genes to their progeny. This is why screening exams are so important. We can guarantee that future generations will have healthier joints by eliminating afflicted animals from the breeding pool. Consider becoming a member of our channel by clicking on the Join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.